Hello and welcome friends, welcome to another exciting unboxing episode. I've just returned from a trip, a little vacation to Italy and when I returned this little package was waiting for me at the post office. Interesting enough, it has a uh, vintage Italian fountain pen and I'm sure you will like it. I think it's from the 1930s or the 1940s, but we will discover it together. So this is the pack. It should have three fountain pens in it. The total cost, including the shipment, was 620 lays or 125.46 euros or 100 and 34.11 American dollars. So without further delay, guys, I have here this beautiful, beautiful celluloid knife. And let me see. Yes, you can see it right here. I will use it and I will try to open this uh, box as uh, good as I can. Maybe I can reuse it. Let me see. Like this. Maybe like this. I'm not so sure. Oh, I think I've ruined it. That's it, guys. If I've started, let me finish it. So this is the box. Let me open it here. And this is the content. Oh, a little nice holder of a... Uh, I'm not so sure what this is. It seems like leather. It was also here. And... Oh, a little um, lighter. Quite nice. This is uh, like a gift from the seller. And I appreciate uh, his uh, little gift. So believe me, guys, that this wasn't included in our original agreement, but it seems like he sent me this lighter as a sign of faith and for our further collaborations. Thank you, seller. So this is the, the box is empty. Let me see. This is a wrapping cloth, not important. This is a, a bag. Okay. And let me see here what I have. Whoa. He included also this beautiful, beautiful vintage Parker box. And again, I want to thank him for that. It uh, wasn't included in our deal. A wonderful, wonderful box. Maybe it's from a Parker 51. Let me see, guys. No. It doesn't have written here Parker 51, but it includes the three fountain pens that I bought. And let me start with the less important one. This simple black fountain pen. It's quite simple. It has uh, this interesting, interesting and elegant clip. And written on it, we have SRD. It's simple enough, and if I open it, unfortunately, this plastic part should stay inside the cap, and uh, you can see that it was easily removed. This is because it is uh, stuck there with an adhesive, and that adhesive in time, due to the fluctuation of uh, temperature and other effects it can uh, fall out of its place like you see in here so this is typical to the chinese made fountain pens and if you need another clue that this is a cheaply made chinese fountain pen we have this steve gold plated nib and we have engraved on it iridium point germany so a simple fountain pen again a giveaway is this plastic feed which has imprinted on it a 9 or a 6 depending on the way you hold it 6 and 9 and this should have ink cartridges yes 
you can see that this part is made out of plastic and this has a metal part so a simple fountain pen made in china it presented no interest to me but this was a lot of fountain pens so i needed to buy this to get access to the most important fountain pen which you will see at the end of this video so for this i paid for this no-name chinese fountain pen it is quite elegant in this black made finish with the gold trims well, I paid 70 lace or 14.16 euros or 15.14 American dollars. So maybe I overpaid for it. But again, guys, I need to buy it as a lot. So there were three fountain pens and you will see what I'm talking about. So I don't, I don't see it as an ugly fountain pen. It is an interesting fountain pen. But maybe at uh, almost 15 euros or 16 American dollars, maybe I overpaid a little bit for it. So I will put this aside here. And guys, this is a lovely, lovely fountain pen made in America. We have here on the clip engraved Easterbrook. Okay, it is finished in this beautiful, beautiful dark uh, let's say blue it is a lever filler and here we have Easterbrook made in USA a nice interesting beautiful fountain pen with this metallic cap I believe it is a friction fit cap or a screwing cap no it screws look at these threads here guys and an interesting nib it sh I should clean it so on it it is engraved Easterbrook 9048 a steel nib but a wonderful wonderful nib i'm not so sure if this is functional the lever is functional it uh, it appears that the sag needs to be replaced but a wonderful wonderful piece and uh, guys um, judging by the the fact that it is a lever filler I believe it is a new level filler, maybe from the 1940s or even the early 1950s. Probably you know that the level filler is quite an old, old filling mechanism dating back all the way from 1920s. And um, first it appeared on the Schaeffer fountain pens, if I'm not uh, mistaken. A beautiful nice one i don't think that this is celluloid it is injected plastic so this is why i think that this is probably the last model uh that used this lever filler okay i paid for this beautiful and interesting american fountain pen 150 lace which means i paid 30.35 euros for it or 32.45 american dollars a nice nice looking fountain pen and now guys for the beautiful beautiful ending of this video i present to you a wonderful wonderful omas extra fountain pen Probably you know that I have also an Omas Extra Fountain Pen from the 1932 and in fact I want to show it to you so pardon me but I have to take it out from uh, this case so I will take it out from this case and I will show it to you in comparison with my latest acquisition. So this is my Omas Extra and it is a wonderful wonderful piece this is uh, in celluloid and it has this mother of pearl reflections to it it's a wonderful wonderful piece in comparison this other one is uh, let's say not as elegant but it has the same design fits as mine so you can see that it didn't have uh, gold plated trims but the clip has the same design with that rollerboard finish this has those greek motifs here and this has only simple three rings to it it ends the same as my model and i think they are the same height yes guys they are the same height 
and they end the same and they have the same lever filler as you can see here when we look at the inscription we can see thermically omas extra on the new one and the same engravings on i have on the other one well guys what did i pay for this wonderful wonderful model well i paid only 400 lays or the equivalent of 80.94 euros or 86.53 american dollars and maybe you are wondering why did i pay such a small sum of money for it well this fountain pen has a little bit of a problem let's say although it's fitted with a gold nib you will see that the gold nib fitted on this omas extra is not the original nib of the omas but rather another italian producer quite quite a rare producer in my point of view and you will see what i'm talking about so let me show you first how an original nib should uh, look like so this is my original nib of my omas fountain pen i hope you can see in this lighting a beautiful beautiful 1930s omas gold nib and my model which i recently acquired contains this gold nib so you can see not only it is a smaller gold nib it is a radius radius extra five eight five number three gold nib if we turn around we can see that also the feed looks to be larger on the other omas model but i think that this feed is original to this model so rather oh and interesting it opens from this side yes it has the sack of ink calcinated so it is what it is let me see if i can turn this no it we have some some tension there and i won't do any more harm to it so guys this is what it is the second omas in my collection an omas extra and i think it's from the 1930s the body is in immaculate condition it is a simple black one and i simply love it only that it doesn't have the its original nib so this is a great opportunity for me to acquire a uh, original omas from the 1930s nib but also to find a radius fountain pen a radius extra fountain pen which carried a number three gold nib and maybe i can do the swap with it so again i told you we will close this video with a wonderful wonderful writing instrument it's in medium size like this one over here but a beautiful 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 fountain pen so guys it's good to be back from my vacation in italy from uh, this video i will start uploading each and every day new content for you guys i hope you've enjoyed this episode and um, if you've enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel to support my activity I will see you again probably tomorrow with another exciting content. Till then, bye-bye, guys. Take care of yourselves and God bless you all.